An Air Commodore of the Indian Air Force is investigating the mid-air collision involving Su-30 and Mirage 2000 aircraft, and latest reports indicate that there was a third aircraft in the vicinity of the crash, and two pilots witnessed the mid-air collision from the third combat aircraft. Three fighter jets were engaged in a two versus one combat practice, in which the Mirage 2000 was playing aggressor. Hacker group Black Cat has claimed to have stolen 2 terabytes of secret military data from Solar Industries Limited. That includes full descriptions of specifications, drawings and audits of numerous weapons, including Pinaka Mark 1 rocket, propellant of enhanced Pinaka Mark 1, propellant of guided Pinaka Mark 2, propellant of Akash missile booster, propellant of Astra Mark 2, propellant of Brahmos missile, warhead of Concos ATGM. PGM-450 and PGM-250 precision guided munition, and three different types of mines. Meanwhile, neither the Defense Ministry nor the company has yet made a public statement. Private sector firm Kalyani Group will to launch its light tank prototype later this year, that will immediately begin mobility trials. Documents made public by the Kalyani Group shows the toll power light tank developed by Turkish manufacturer Otokar, and it is unclear whether the Tulpa light tank was a representational image, or if the company actually had discussions with the Turkish manufacturer. US will conduct both static and flying display of its F-35 fifth generation aircraft at the Aero India 2023 as the US plans to use the F-35 to strengthen its sales pitch to India, as the Boeing F-15EX has failed to gain any traction in India, and the Indian Air Force has been dead set against the F-16. The F-35 is being tested in India to see if the Indian Air Force would prefer it over the French Rafale F-4 standard. Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited has completed the delivery of 18 Danush guns to the Indian Army, that has formed the 1st Danush Regiment, and the company has started delivery of more Danush howitzers, that will form the 2nd Danush Regiment by March 2023. The Indian Army will raise 4 more Danush Regiments by mid-2024. Godrej Aerospace has handed over a technology booster for the Brahmos project to the CEO of Brahmos Aerospace. Besides the main airframe, Godrej supplies control surfaces and nose cap, as well as mobile autonomous launchers, and missile replenishing vehicles for the land-launched versions. The Indian Air Force's Su-30 fighter jets and AWACS aircraft, and the French carrier strike group led by nuclear-powered aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle, conducted a bilateral exercise off the western coast, to improve the synergy in the skies. The French Navy took part with Rafale Marine and an E-2C Hawker carrier-capable tactical airborne early warning aircraft. The Indian Air Force's Eastern Air Command has kick-started a mega exercise covering the northeastern region, that includes a number of platforms including frontline fighter jets like the Rafale and Su-30 aircraft, to check its combat readiness along the line of actual control in Arunachal Pradesh. All frontline air bases and some key advanced landing grounds in the northeast are being involved in the exercise.